Hello my friends, in today's video I will show you how to harness energy from the stray currents that appears between two grounds, the mains ground, named ground 1 in the schematic, and a different building's ground, ground 2. As you may see, the schematics is quite simple. I use a small 10 volts AC transformer, feed it backwards, from secondary to primary, in a manner that will rise the AC voltage from 2 volts to 60 volts, in order to be useful for us. Now I will test that transformer to see what voltage I have on secondary. Therefore I plug it in a 220 volt socket and I measure the output voltage of the secondary. It shows me over 10 volts AC. I put in parallel at the input a small AC capacitor, of 1 microfarad. But this is optional. Now I make the connections of the secondary to the two grounds. The mains ground, and the building ground. It shows us now over 2 volts AC that feeds the transformer secondary. Now I measure the output from the transformer's primary. We may see approximately 60 volts AC. I put now the transformer in a little socket that I made. The two wires from the socket will feed a bridge rectifier with the generated AC current. I measure now the output from that bridge rectifier. As you may see it is varying from 55 to 70 volts DC. I connect now at the output, the two wires of a 30 volts LED mounted on the ceiling. I attach to the circuit the second ground, Et voila. The voltage starts to rise. The LED is becoming brighter. I have also attached in parallel to the LED a small capacitor, but it is also optional. We have now over 18 volts DC on the panel. The maximum voltage until now, that I notice, is 21 volts DC. Now I will measure the current that flows through the LED. I will put my multimeter in series and it shows me approximate of 2 milliamps. It is fluctuating, but nonetheless it is real power for a such small device. This is my improvised socket. Now you can see the wires of the two grounds. 
ground one of the maids. And ground two from the building. Now a little overview of the entire setup, and I disconnect one of the grounds, voltage starts to drop. The DC capacitors allow a slow decrease of the voltage as you may notice. And finally a night test. It is not like a 220 volts light bulb, but it allows me to see in the room at night without problems. It is an usable night light, that could run continuously for free, not depending on solar or wind or whatever. The only test that remains me to make is to cut the mains power off and see what happens with the voltage. But as soon I will do it I will inform you. I hope you find this video informative. I want to thank to my friend Mihai for his suggestions, that inspired me to make this movie. Have a nice day dear friends.